Hello. Get your hands in the air right now. I'm robbing you. Give me all of your fruit. Every every last piece. Don't hide any of it. Oh. Got some blue. And all the clouds are going that way. Which means the sun is about to come out. I have to go to the post office to send out most of the packages. I got a bunch more orders last night, obviously. Thank you. Um, there's still some left if you want to go to v3.com and get a necklace and I'll ship it out tomorrow. Uh, yeah, but I gotta go send out half the packages and then and then we'll find something to do today. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll start there. I've got to get this done now because time, there's a time crunch. There we go. As predicted, some sunlight has just come out. My eyes need it. My retinas haven't had any sunlight for like a week. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Soak it all in. Okay, I didn't film in the post office, but I probably should have, because it would've been interesting, but I was in there for a while just doing custom forms, and I forgot to do that for the American orders. So yeah, half the packages are gone. It's a relief. Now, now we focus on something else. What do we do today? I mean, I've got a package to the other half. So that's like my indoor job. I'm gonna get some snacks, I think. So I took my GoPro in, into the store to, to vlog a little bit, but I just didn't pull it out. And I think going to the store is like, that's all my social interaction every week right there. Like surrounded by people, more people than I've seen all week. And it's, I guess, overwhelming. I don't have social anxiety, but I get a little overwhelmed with just hundreds of people. And it's just a, it's just a grocery store. I shouldn't be overwhelmed by it, but because I, I'm so isolated where I am, Things like that just overwhelm me a little bit now. It's not good. Now that was one of the shortest days I've had in a while. All right, <clears throat> let's get real for a moment. The whole day I've been kind of just, well, not the whole day, this whole week, I've been feeling extra just empty. Like there's a deep pit and there is no bottom to it. I've just been falling inside for a while. Two years without festivals, that was my like my social interaction hit for the year. I only need one big one, and then I feel good. The weeks leading up and the weeks leading after it are filled with friends, and it's just it's a magical time. And not having that for two years, yeah, it's left me pretty empty. And my last festival two like three years ago was really traumatic, and I haven't been able to overcome that because I haven't had any more festivals. Like that was my last one. <laughs> and I kind of need to repair the damage I did three years ago. Uh, it's Valentine's Day. I realized kind of late into the evening that it was Valentine's Day and it's just, uh, it's just... This is a day that I've, well, <laughs> right now, <laughs> I'm eating pizza. It's just comfort food at this point. Eating pizza on my own on Valentine's Day. I've never been with someone on Valentine's Day. I've never had someone that I love around on Valentine's Day. I don't really celebrate holidays in general, but I've never actually had anyone around on Valentine's Day. It's not exactly on purpose. Like, I just... The longest, longest relationship I've ever been in was six months. And I wouldn't even call that one a relationship. That was a disaster. That was a mistake. <laughs> so yeah, I've never really had, like, a partner. I've never had someone stick around for a long time. Which is kind of forcing me to evolve constantly and work on myself constantly. Which I guess is a good thing, if you're always working on yourself. But I just don't understand how people like, way younger than me are just in relationships. Like, how did you get to that point? How are you stable enough for that? You just have everything figured out at an early age? Like how? <laughs> I'm 29 still trying to work this thing out. So I guess today just wanted to reach out to everyone that is not in a relationship. Everyone else out there that's single today. You're not alone. There's a lot of us. Maybe in the comments you guys can like reach out and say hi to each other. Let us know your story. Why are you alone? Is it by choice? Does your partner live really far away? Or do you just not date? <laughs> Cause like, I, I date. I date when I can. I date when I'm in a, a good spot for dating. Usually when I live near cities or in cities. When I'm in the middle of nowhere, it's kind of difficult. And I think that, that geographical isolation is what gets me the most. That's what hits me the hardest, really. Is knowing that there's people out there that I just can't get to without spending all of my money. So that's why I'm working so hard on stage two, which is a move out. I need to be close to the cities. I need to be close to the coast. I need I need people in my life before I lose it. This is the first year in my entire adult life where I've spent winter in the UK alone. 
and without drugs. It's the, the only adult year I've ever done all those three things, and it's really, really tough. And I know we're in, we're in February, like, I know spring's around the corner, but jeez, it's such a long winter. I, usually I'd get high. I'd get high on days like I feel like this, and it'd be okay. Like, weed, weed's, weed was my best friend. And now that I have to stay away from it, <laughs> it's tough. Like, I've never pushed myself to do this. In my late teens, early 20s, I had friends around all the time. I started traveling to hotter countries in winter. I, I never put myself in this position, and it just feels feels empty. And I know that I'm not the only one that feels like this, so there has to be some, so many people out there that feel like this. Like, so many, so many young people, especially young men, are driven to suicide because of this. This feeling. And it's so horrible. First of all, don't be concerned. I am not suicidal. I'm not depressed. I'm okay. I'm just struggling, and I guess, well, I can't really hide these feelings because I'm making a daily vlog. I can't just, like, eat my comfort food alone right now. Uh, I have to share something today, and I might as well just share how I'm feeling because it seems like you guys care about that kind of stuff. I'm not adventuring every day. Some days I feel like crap. Like, there's a lot I can do to fix it. I can work out more. I can wake up earlier, eat healthier. Those three things will help a lot. I know what I'm missing. I'm missing social interaction. A really basic human need to just feel other humans. I'm missing that. Yeah, it's like, it's devastating for my mental health and... I know I've been around people this past couple years, but because of all the restrictions, it just felt like I haven't been around people. I don't know, the feelings just get lost so fast. I had an hour of daylight today, that's not helpful. I did spend some time with the moon though. Before I made this thing, I, I spent some time outside. All the clouds are gone, so the stars are out, and I'm just enjoying the beauty of the moon. But I can't help think about all my friends that are just out there in the world, and I can't reach them. Like, the internet has brought us all together, and also made me feel so apart from everyone, because I know that how much distance is between us all. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna edit a little video from, for Poppy, because I'm not like her. I wanna make her a little video and just sharing all the best moments we had the past few months. And then I was going to package more orders, but to save my my sleep, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Tonight, I'm just going to relax, get my edit done. Edit done early and go to bed. If you're feeling alone out there, you're, you're, not, you're not alone. There's a lot of us. <laughs> There's a lot of us struggling. Hey, if you've got everything together, if you've got your crap together, maybe give some of us advice. Like, what, what, can, we, what can we do to get to where you are? Please help us. Please help me. That comfort food just made me feel worse, so now I should just call it discomfort food. I'm self-sabotaging. It's not good. Okay, I've been here for hours. I just finished making a little video for Poppy. Uh, I guess you guys will never see that one. Sorry. <laughs> Unless someone secretly finds the link, but hopefully you guys never watch that one. I... So this is this little thing. Dunzo. Uh... I guess I'm going to bed. I mean, I'm not. We're going to edit this video. But every time I say I'm going to bed, it means I'm done with the vlog. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. I don't even... What did I even do today? Oh yeah, I spent Valentine's on my own. But yeah, of course. Well, if anyone else is lonely, I'm here. I'm sharing this experience. <laughs> I'll just, I'll, I'll hit you guys up tomorrow. I got nothing else to say today. Good night. Have a good night. The night is good. <laughs>